going on everybody? Charles with BC and Construction here at our fire restoration job. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look through while we, uh, we just got demo done yesterday. Today we're uh, finishing up cleanup. Our guys kind of ran out of time and we're gonna start on reconstruction here. So we've got a house that's burned up. Fire started outside. Posted some photos for you guys before, but this is a first look at the video. So uh, permits already in the window. Everything's ready to go. Been waiting a while to get started on this one. Weather has not been cooperating. We had a bunch of rain pour down yesterday. So things are a little wet in here, but it doesn't matter because everything's getting torn out anyways. So we have this old, uh, basically military housing. You can see these just real heavy custom trusses. Uh, these are actually concrete block interior walls. Uh, fire started out back, went through the attic and just all the way through. So we've already removed these and all the decking. We're gonna go through and we're gonna place all the uh, burn up trusses. So starting here, this truss is getting removed and replaced and then 11 going that way. Um, this isn't the first fire that happened in this house. This back here has all been rebuilt because this was burnt before. So we're gonna be focusing mostly up here in the attic. We're doing these trusses, that gable that got taken down. And then back here in the kitchen is where most of the damage was at. So you've got all this burn up. This was the kitchen, kind of like a little galley kitchen here. Uh, you had your HVAC back here, water heater. We're gonna relocate the electrical into here because right now it's sitting back here on this back porch. Back porch is gonna get completely redone too. So electrical's gonna move. We're gonna move the meter head over that way because it was coming right here. It's not code. So we've got temporary power set up. And we're going to redo this wall here. We're gonna add uh, a wider door because the uh, the owner, you know, he, he could be in a wheelchair at some point. So we want to make sure he has good access in and out. We're gonna do a bigger window, another window right here, and then this wall is blank. Washer and dryer out here. A little uh, storage shelf for uh, the kitchen. All new cabinets, flooring. I mean, everything's good to place in here. So it's gonna be a nice house when we're done. Right now it looks like a disaster zone, which is usually the case after a fire. So especially once we get in and start doing demo. Gotta break a couple eggs to make that omelet, right? All right guys, I just wanted to take a quick second to show you what we were doing. We got the trusses up here, but what we were doing here is we had taken off the old ones that were burnt. So if they're just charred a little bit, smoked like that, blackened, as long as they aren't burned and charred and starting to split, they're fine. We can come back in and we can uh, uh, take a dry, dry cleaning sponge and clean them off and then we can shellac them to um, seal in any odor. So they're still structurally sound, but it's just, you know, they look black, but they're fine. They just have smoke on them. So those are okay. And we're replacing these 11 that got charred. So they were structurally unsound. And what we did is we took all of them off and then we know we're 24 on center for each of these trusses that goes across. So on the top plate up here, we just laid out where each one goes. And then to keep them plumb, we have uh, a stringer board that we put up there that we have a layout on with 24 inches on center. And so we just start off with one where we have a known plumb uh, upright and we just come off of that 24 at the top and that keeps all of them plumb all the way across. And we check it with the level just to make sure, but just production, you know, you gotta go quick. So bring it all the way across and we got them all plumbed up and tied together so they're not gonna fall like dominoes. And then once we have the decking on, that stringer is, that's just temporary. It can stay up there, it'll stay with the house, we're not gonna take it down, but the decking itself is what keeps everything laterally from blowing apart. And then we temporarily just toenailed in from the bottoms here. I'm gonna come back in with three on one side, two on the other, hand drive them through these truss plates to be able to secure it so that the roof can't be lifted off because of high winds. And then uh, once we have all that, we're good to go. So we'll, we'll toenail in on each of these, be able to secure them from wind, uplift, and then we will deck this, and then we have a gable back here that we're gonna rebuild, and then a gable up front we're gonna rebuild. We have to have the decking on first, and then we can build those off. So that's where we're at today. It is a hot one, I'll tell you that. Like, we had 50 degrees yesterday, and now it's like 80 and humid. So we're gonna hang it up today, uh, come back on Friday, and get the rest of this knocked out. See you guys then. Peace. 